Hi Jeffrey. So um, I'm beginning to take up marathons with my boyfriend, but yeah. the thing is I don't have a pair of um, proper marathon shoes. Yes. So is there anything you can recommend me? Okay, first of all, when you come look for me, you have must have a pair of old running shoes for me to look for assessment. Okay. Number one, to look at the way you run, your heel strike. Uh, number two, I need to get your footprint done on the footprint machine. Third, I need to measure your, your size of the feet and the width. Okay, come, okay, just move up. Thank you. This tells the footprint of the runner, whether it's a high arch, neutral feet, and the width as well. Okay, so she has a pretty neutral feet. See, neutral feet matches this. So that means your direction of choosing the footwear is you go shoes to a neutral foot category. You stand up, please. It depends whether if you're a short, short distance runner, the gap with difference is less. If you do marathon distance, you have to be about a three quarter of a thumb space allowance from your longest toe if you do marathon. Okay, okay? which is like this. What is the three quarter space for? For your foot expansion after the, the long runs. After 10, 15K, because of the humidity here, your foot tends to expand. If you don't get them, get shoes big enough, sometimes you run, you come back, your toenails is black. Oh. Oh, you got blisters, okay? And we have to measure both feet because most of the time one foot is bigger than, than the other. Mm. Like for your cases, you wear an 8 US. Left foot, please. For your case, your foot size is the same. So you wear 8 US. Probably if you need to try shoes, probably if you do marathon, mm. you have to try at least two different running brands footwear to decide which shoes fits more comfortable. And most of the time you come in, you have to come with a proper running socks. Okay? So special. Running socks makes a difference. The fitting, the sizing, very important. They have size from small, medium, large, size fit, the true size. Secondly, the fit of the material, it should breathe. When you run long distance, the material, should, the fabric should breathe fast enough to run without reducing your temperature of your feet and go for long runs. Third, no blisters. What if I run halfway and then the top slip? Uh, this will never slip. It, it, never happen, it will never happen in a technical running socks. Technical running socks? It will happen only on a normal running socks like cotton socks. But it will not happen in a technical running socks. Oh, so how do I differentiate this pair of being neutral from the other pairs? Uh, Neutral shoes because they mainly they make with a mono density sole. That means one density mid sole. Okay, instead of a dual density mid sole, dual density mid sole is for runners who pronate. So mainly a lot of cushioning is emphasized on the heel strike. Okay. And, and mainly the shoes are more on the heel strike and midfoot. You're recording this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It feels very comfortable because the entire foot actually sits inside the shoe. So I guess I can even walk, I can even shop for hours without feeling uh, aching knees. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. So please help me find a good pair of shoes. Uh, how, how do you go about it? Uh, first, firstly, I must know what sort of distance you're running. Alright. Secondly, your running gait. Third, your, dis your distance you run. Okay. Your, is your foot very wide? Um, I'm not sure, but I think I'm a bit more towards the flat. Well, that means you, you pro-date yeah, and you need a little bit more stability issues. Yes. running socks to try to try with a proper running, running socks, socks whether your sock is thick or thin it depends some some runners prefer a thin running socks some people like thick socks for cushioning okay. some runners run thin they want it light right so yeah. very individual runner preference so there is no real difference between a thick or a thin it's just preference preference no thicker cushioning will give you like more more cushioning okay. but seems a bit when you sweat a lot 
heavy. Right, okay, okay. Light is for speed runners who run fast, right. don't want to take additional weight. So is this considered thin or thick? Thin. This is thin? Yeah. Okay. You try? Put on. So I'm going to wear this pair of uh, thin technical socks. Right? Running socks, yes. Running socks, okay. Yeah. See the difference? Mm -hmm. See, it's, it's, not, it's not tight, but it's, it's on your right leg. It does feel a lot, a lot, a lot better. This uh, dual density midsole, midsole for flat foot, for lower arch, small flat foot. Yes, yes. It's getting quite complex now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Come try the uh, second compatible so, manufacturer brand. brand. Okay. Right. Uh, it minimizes your pronation. It's, it acts as a la, a la, a la, a la anchor support. Yeah, it's feels good. Both feels good, or which is feels better than the other? Uh, I have a better impression of the new balance. Impression? Because yeah. they have more more toe space in front. Yes, yeah, so there's more space. More toe space, right? Yeah. Because the shoes, even though brands are two E and two E, yeah. they are from they varies from brand to brand. So even the, the company said it's white. The white of these shoes, this brand, and the competitor may not be the same. Okay. So that's why. Base, you have to try on comfort level for comfort. Mm. Yeah. So I've tried both brands, the New Balance and the Mizuno. Uh. Um, both feel pretty good, better than the one I'm using. Uh, not actually, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm still leaning more towards the New Balance, uh, but we'll see. Ah, uh, for for comfort. For comfort, yes. Yes. For comfort. The color is better on this one. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thank you. Thank you.